My name is Stephen Mulherin. I'm 24 years old and I run up hills. I went to the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, ran track cross country there for four years. I've always had a love for running up hills when I was training for track and cross country. Right around sophomore year, going to junior year of undergraduate, I came out here and I've been coming out here for four summers now. Started river guiding, climbing up the mountains, and I really got a taste for what life could be like. So there I am, graduating, Bachelor of Science in Math, Bachelor of Science in Computer Science, and I packed up the car and moved out to Jackson, Wyoming. It was a shock at first, I guess, living the dirtbag lifestyle and um, you know, with all that great education and that sort of thing. I made it a goal of mine before I moved out here to try to break the speed record on the Grand. The Grand Teton speed record is a hefty goal. You know, the valley floor is at 6,500 feet and the top of the Grand Teton is 13,700 feet. It's maybe nine miles to the top. When I first moved out here, that goal was way above my head, but I managed to get pretty darn close. So the record from the bottom to the top and back down again is two hours and 53 minutes. My first summer out here, I got three hours flat. Not many jobs using my degrees out here, you know? So I got pretty lucky to be able to work on the river. That's what I've been doing for the summers. It's hard doing five trips on the water and then going for a good old 15 mile run after that. Coming from the coaching side of things, it's, to me, I get really excited about a guy like Steven who is first and foremost coming from a collegiate background with a lot of speed, but then has moved here and done a complete reversal in lifestyle. Lives out of his truck, is a river guide all day, and is just kind of like this mountain man. There's a series of uh, hill climbs, as they're called, that start at the base of the mountain, go up to the top, and they finish at the top. So I use those town series hill climbs as training missions for the Grand Teton. Three main ski resorts in the area, and I hold the record in the Grand Targhee Hill Climb, I hold the record in the Snow King Hill Climb, and I hold the record in the Rendezvous Hill Climb. So I show up to the Snow King Hill Climb this year, and I'm about a minute slower than my old course record. So Eric Wharton's probably sitting back thinking, oh well, if it's a third of the race and he was a minute slower, he's probably gonna be three minutes slower in the Rendezvous Hill Climb. And I'm thinking that as well. It's in the back of my head, you know. I've had these disappointments before. I know I gotta put that out of my head and not think about it. To put the rendezvous hill climb into perspective, you got 6.1 miles in distance, 4,139 feet of vertical gain. You're seeing all walks of life come do this race. Some people are hiking it and it's taking them four hours. Other people are gunning it, going under an hour, 15 minutes. And I went for it in that first third of the race. At a third of the way through the race, I was 18 minutes, fast as I've ever been through that point. So that is 60 minute pace. The course fought back over that second third and then, you know, the honesty of my fitness really, really got me. Those races serve as benchmark for me. So if I hit those course records that I had previously, I know I'm on pace to break the record on the Grand Teton. Knowing I didn't hit them this year could bum me out, but I've definitely experienced this in the track world back in college. You know, I totally think I can do this grand thing still. You know, there'd be no point going after it if I didn't think it was possible. What really makes me think it's possible is having those failures in track and field in college. He's living moment to moment, and there's something really refreshing about that. It's not about how big of a house you have, the, the type of shorts you wear while you run. It's just about living, and there's nothing truer than what running is all about and maybe what we all should look at as far as how we live our life. This is really where his heart is today. It makes him happy. I think the most important thing is, you know, he wakes up every day and, and goes after a goal, and if today that's running, that's fantastic. I'd rather him do that than be miserable working in New York City. Happiness to me is uh, exactly what I found coming out to Jackson Hole, ditching all those societal constraints and doing what I love. So happiness is doing what I love, and I found that moving out here to Jackson.